What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can record your PS4 gameplay um, without a capture card and actually transfer those and edit it on your computer. So, there are actually a few things you'll need. The one thing that you will need to bring it to your computer is actually a USB key or a flash drive or something like that. Um, they, don't, they don't have to be too... Uh, like the storage doesn't have to be too big. I recommend maybe at least four gigabytes or something like that because the files do get a little bit big and if you're uploading a bunch at once, which you can do, um, you might need a bigger one. I have an eight gigabyte file, which is plenty enough for what I'm supposed to do. So you guys actually can do live commentary on this. Like you, you probably thought you couldn't do that and you could just do the gameplay. You actually can do live commentary. Of course you need a, a, a USB microphone, which you can connect to the USB port on your PS4. Um, if you guys have like a Turtle Beach headset with a microphone, like one of those uh, P11, or something like that um, you actually can connect it to your ps4 and the same mic that you use for party chat and stuff like that you can actually record live commentary also a cool trick which i might show you in a video uh, later on is you can actually connect a, a usb condenser microphone uh, to your ps4 like if you guys have a blue yeti microphone or a blue snowball or an audio technica at2020 or like a, or a pc microphone like desktop recording microphone like that you can actually record it on your PS4 and use it as like a headset and use it for voice chat as well as live commentary for this gameplay recording. Um, you just have to make sure that the 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 microphone that you have to use does not need any drivers when you use it for the PC. So without further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so unfortunately, I do not have my Elgato Game Capture HD set up right now. Yeah, I actually don't really need to do this method that I'm teaching in this video, but I'm doing it for people who don't have enough money to buy an Elgato Game Capture or any other capture card. So since I don't have mine set up, unfortunately, I have to use the camera to record it, so I hope you can cope with that. So anyways, the first thing you wanna do is connect your USB key to your PS4, and you can know that happened by if you see this media player, which doesn't show up unless you have a USB key installed. So the first thing you wanna do is of course go uh, record your gameplay. So uh, I already have some gameplay recorded. All you have to do is go into any game you want. I'm gonna go into Infamous Second Son. Just because it's a good game just to record, it's like an open world game. Alright guys, so we're in the game, so the first thing you want to actually do is go up and open your share menu. You don't want to start recording just yet. So press the share button once, or open up the share menu. Um, some people have decided to hold it so it opens up this menu, but make sure you open up this screen right here. And go down to uh, sharing and broadcast settings, because before we start uh, recording, we actually want to... Um, try to you know get our settings right and stuff like that so share button control type this is just um, if you want to press to open up the display menu or press to take a screenshot that's all it changes and the length of video clip is really important so because you don't want to be stuck with like the by default it is 15 minutes so if you didn't know that this was a feature it's a by default 15 minutes you're gonna get cut off at 15 minutes and you wouldn't know that so make sure if you guys want, want to be I want to have like the full freedom set it to 60 minutes it doesn't really change the quality at all all it does is just set the maximum time the recording can go for so screenshot settings you guys can you know change that if you want and broadcast settings that's just if you're live streaming which doesn't really apply here unless you, you do want to be live streaming but i really do re uh, recommend using Algata for that so uh this is really important if you want to do a live commentary or if you want to hear your friends voices or something like that so you want to go to audio sharing settings so um if you guys actually want to do a live commentary like you know you want to be able to hear your voice while you're playing the game like live then you check this box which include microphone audio and video clip this is including the microphone audio from the headset or playstation camera while recording gameplay as you can see it says right there so yeah if you guys have like a, a turtle beach headset or if you have a blue yeti mic you can actually hook it up via usb to the ps4 and you can actually record it uh live commentary uh, this is just the same thing, but it includes it when you're live streaming, which is not the tutorial here. And this is also very important. If you guys uh, are doing chat audio on the PS4, if you guys want to be able to, if you if you want to be able to have your friends be heard in the recording, make sure this is checked. So yeah, make sure I'm just just by default check everything, so just so you have complete freedom. Um, if you have this checked and you actually don't have a headset recorded, nothing will record anyway. So I just recommend keeping all these boxes checked, anyways. But again, if you don't want your voice to be heard and you use a headset, make sure you uncheck this one because then you'll hear your voice, which you probably don't want to hear it. And if you actually have your voice in there, you can't take it out. So that's the problem. Now all you have to do is um, double tap the share button while you're in game. Yeah, on the top left corner, you'll see that little icon with a video reel and a red button. Now that means that you're, you're recording. So now you just do whatever you want. If you have live commentary, you can do your intro and stuff like that. But since this is not a live commentary, because I don't have any mic, uh, I don't have a mic set up. 
Yeah, I just killed a civilian, <laughs> even though I'm a hero. Now I'm just gonna stop the recording. All I have to do is double tap the share button again. Oh, the share button on your on your P on your PS4 controller. Double tap that. It's if you guys don't know, it's it's this one right here, right there. That's the share button. Okay, so now uh, all I have to do is press the home button. Uh, you can leave the game running in the background if you want and go to the capture gallery You actually don't need to go to the share factory So now go to the capture gallery and go to the game that you just recorded It was mine was infamous second son and if you go to video clips, it should be here Mine was only 42 seconds So you play it right there and you can check if it's good or not Unfortunately the the bat the downside about this feature it is only at 720p and at 30 FPS actually it seems I think it's at 30 FPS, 720p. So if you guys do you want to record in 1080p, I'm sorry you're out of luck and you probably would want to get up, end up getting a capture card. So now once you're done your gameplay, you can just exit out, see if it's good. And what you want to do is uh, go uh, hover over the gameplay and press the options button, which is right there. You guys probably know where it is. Press the options button. And as you can see, the up pops up a little window. What you want to do is press copy to USB storage device. So make sure that your USB storage device is connected to your PS4. And yeah, just make sure you have the video selected and press copy. Uh, there we go. Uh, you can read that if you want and then just press OK. There we go. So since it was a really short video, it will take a uh, short amount of time. But if you guys recorded like, you know, a 20 minute video or something like that, this might take a lot longer. So now once you're done that, we are done with the PS4 and you, you can actually disconnect your USB storage device. So now I have my storage device uh, unplugged for my PS4. And uh, once it's done, you can, I'll meet you guys at the computer. All right guys, so now we are at the computer. Again, I apologize, I do not. This is my laptop. Uh, if you guys don't know, my computer, my actual computer that I use every day for YouTube and stuff, is actually, uh, needs to be fixed and it's at the shop. So I have to use my laptop, which unfortunately does not have a recording software and I just can't bother to really download and get one. I apologize for that. So I hope you can cope with this too. So of course, the first thing you wanna do is actually connect a USB device. So go to where your USB device is. Uh, mine should be in this PC, and there it is. Mine is Lexar F right there. So now, uh, what you want to do is open up where it says PS4. And as you can see, there's a file right there that says PS4. And if you see that, then everything works. So open up PS4, share, video clips, and go to where the game. If you guys actually have multiple recordings from different games, it will have a lot of different folders which dip with different games, but uh, for now, I only have Infamous Second Son, so now open that up, and there is your file right there. Uh, open it to see if it's right and everything's correct. There we go. So now your recording is there. It's actually pretty good quality for just a PS4 built-in feature. Uh, I, unfortunately, again, it is only 720p, 30fps, I'm pretty sure, but you guys can you know comment down in the sections if I am wrong. So guys, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed this. I'm sorry for the really, uh, really bad camera quality and, you know, camera work and stuff like that. Uh, I just don't have, everything is not working well for me uh, this past few months because my computer broke and everything. So I have to make do with what I have. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Hopefully it helped you guys. It was a bit long and elaborate, but I hope I was in-depth and you guys could understand me well. And I hope it helped you out and you guys can, you know, record it without having to spend money on a game capture, a capture card. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it all I hope you guys all enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Peace out guys.